What is going on, all of you gaming legends out there? My name is Tyler, or Deathly, and this is yet another team builder video. Uh, we are going up against Joey Pokeaim, aka the God himself. <laughs> the God. This week, um, unfortunately, this being my second draft league ever, this being Joey's probably 5,000th battle ever. Um, this is another walk in the park for him, and this has been a nightmare for me. So, uh, unfortunately, I think the Seattle Drizzlers win streak of dos is going to end at dos, and, uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. Joey's a great guy. Um, funny enough, um, <laughs> uh, my first ever league match ever, uh, I reached out to Joey for help. Uh, I went up against Kyle A., um, and, uh, he was like, listen, give me your matchup, give me your team and, uh, I'll toss it to my guys. And then he called me and he was like, all right, dude, here's your team. Uh, we did this for you. It was a uh, Coco Lucha. I was going up against Coco Lucha for my first league match ever. And you guys saw how that went. Um, I got six owed by Kyle, my first league match ever. Hey Kyle, can't wait to rematch. Yay. Um, but I think I've improved drastically. This is kind of like a mentor mentee battle uh if you will so i'm actually really kind of excited for this matchup versus joey and jumping in the call after to talk to my homie this joey's really cool great guy met him at um uh pokemon regionals and uh i haven't seen him since which is kind of heartbreaking but uh, i know he's getting married and has all this busy stuff going on so um we did not see him at twitchcon or pax east so, uh, that's okay. That's all right. Um, but Joey's team, let's, let's break into it. I'm going to try to, I'm trying to keep these quick, man, but I just, I, I don't know, man. I was always worried, like, if I were to do a solo Let's Play that I couldn't talk about things for, you know, hours at a time outside of, like, a stream interaction. But, like, these team builders have given me infinite amount of confidence because somehow 20 minutes goes by in the blink of an eye. But we're going to go quick. Uh, so this is Joey's team. Uh, it's nauseating in the fact that he has three. Yes. Three Intimidate users um, that can really just break, soak up hit, hits and break down um, any sort of setup, physical setup. Uh, so, leading off his entire scary ass team is uh, Zygarde 10%, arguably one of the best mons in the format. Um, something I wanted, um, but I was 16th and Joey was like fifth in the draft. Uh, so there's zero chance of me getting it. But Zygarde 10% went to Joey, uh, arguably one of the best mods in the format, being T3 and below. Um, Thousand Arrows, um, just a disgusting ground attack that has no no um, weaknesses, smacks down everything, can hit flying types. Um, so just uh, is disturbingly good. Uh, Zygarde, and, and on top of that, it's a base 115 speed. Um and then full investment normally to outspeed anything in the format. Um, so uh, my real answers to this pretty much come in the form of Verizion and Gligar and Glaceon. Um, but we'll go through um, my team and why I brought it uh, in a bit here. So Intimidate user number one, we have Incineroar, who can sponge up hits with an Assault Vest. These are just the standard sets from Smogun. Um, not quite at that point where I can calc everything out to Joey, like, oh, dude, like, that's going to be modest. Uh, we got to outspeed this. We can speed creep this. Whatever the hell all of that extra team building stuff goes into. Um, but U-turn, momentum, um, intimidate to break things. To, you can literally come in, intimidate, sponge a hit, U-turn out, and bring in another intimidate user. So, like, Joey's core and just team in general is just absolutely filthy. Uh, you can get that stab... Um, Knock off if you want to, um, and really, Incineroar is lackluster, but Intimidate, man, just makes it that much better. Um, Roserade's kind of that sleeper mon that um, I think has been gaining a lot of popularity lately due to its uh, access to utility. Uh, the stab poison damage, the stab grass, um, the core resistances in that regard from those mons, uh, from those typings, as well as... Um, a, the ability to act as a cleric on top of a heavy damage dealer. So I have it just set to a fast special sweeper. Um, this thing can be incredibly fast with a base 90 speed on top of everything else and a disgusting uh, special attacks 
stat as well. Um, I don't think he's going to bring Mesprit, um, be, but it gives him another U-turn user, gives him some utility as well. Um, I just think I have too many answers to Mesprit in my guaranteed core that I pretty much bring every week. Um, so uh, I don't see it coming, but I, especially since so much of his stuff outspeeds my team already, I don't see T-Weave coming. My biggest concern, though, for his team is in the games he's played so far, Seismitoad, Zydog, and Hariyama have been um, the most disgusting three that he has brought. Seismitoad scares the hell out of me because I am worried that he is going to go with a Swift Swim Seismitoad, which literally, literally nothing, not one thing on my team can outspeed this thing. And I can't even slow it down with a uh, T-Wave because it's uh, water ground. So um, max speed, toss it in, uh, rain dance, Seismitoad. Um, so that's why I had, actually, what are we doing here? Let's do Damp Rock. That'd be his best play there. Okay, so anyway. Uh, Dietzy. Um, so Seismitoad Toad's discussing. He has a lot of coverage with Grass Knot, Sludge Wave, uh, sc Stab Scald in Rain, uh, and then uh, Stab EQ as well. Um, is just it's just 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 filthy. It's it's um it's does it's it's defense isn't great. It's it can go down easily, but if it outspeeds everything, that doesn't even matter. Um, and my biggest concern with this thing is, um, obviously like grass, knot or some sort of grass move, he gets four times weakness to it. Um, but if he puts on a berry, uh, that severely limits my ability to revenge kill or, um, bring something in and sponge the hit and then finish him off. So I'm curious what he ends up doing with Seismitoad, but that was probably the scariest thing for me in my mocks. The NC just kind of sits there uh, again, more utility heal bell um cleric roll um especially defensive uh pretty fragile to an eq um not too worried about the antsy um the obviously threatens a few of my team in literally only threatens um yeah fairy stab for verizion uh some damage to glaceon and uh that's about it uh hariyama again just bulky, bulky, scary. Like, he's got so many, like, set-up sweepers. Like, one bulk up on Hariyama, and uh, he can pretty much bullet punch his way to victory. And if he slaps a guts on damage on top of this thing, like, it just gets even scarier. Uh, I threw Rain Dance on Duosion, because I don't think he wants to give it up on Seismitoad, because, like, you already lose a turn of rain setting up rain. Um, and if you get forced out and have uh, by something... Um, and come back in, you don't have as many chances to get set back up. Um, so I gave uh, Duosion a Damp Rock with Rain Dance and uh, hoped for the best in that regard. Mawile, again, another Intimidate user of his. Um, pretty much, uh, again, could be a physical bulky sweeper, could just be a wall to sponge some hits and sucker punch, uh, finish off something. Uh, Swords Dance, play the f just the fairies and steel stab like god dude joey your team's a nightmare to prep for um then we have volaby uh evie light just bulky bulky bird man like you could go max hp max defense and this thing can just sit in front of everything um it's really kind of disgusting especially if you do like uh, bold nature or something like bro no thank you um tauros again just scary as hell fast as hell like tauros plus zygarde man but luckily we have some answers to his team but like a lot of coverage in ice beams and headbutt um just tauros is a coverage machine stab body slam um the the only real answer I have to this thing is Drampa. And even then, like, depending on how he set this up, Drampa could die before he even gets a chance. So, like, it's a good... Like, if I can predict the swap into Tauros, um, we could be okay. But let me go ahead and show you guys my answers. I know this is already um, going pretty far. So, uh, here's the team I decided to bring. Nope, that's Joey's team. Where's mine? Um, There we go. Cool. So, Life Orb Drampa with Berserk, Hyper Voice, um, and uh, some HP bulk investment, some huge, all special, all in on special attack, uh, Hyper Voice stab, 
Uh, don't really need any dragon moves. Um, I, I obviously like him and Zygarde. Like, I'm never gonna outspeed the Zygarde, and I'm never gonna predict the Zygarde swap because why would Zygarde come in on Drampa? So there's really no reason for me to do anything in that regard. Roost helps me get that Berserk ability and charge back up. Um, Calm Mind just supplements that. HP Steel is for Deancey. Um, so that's where I've got in my Dragon Roll. Akihito here. Um, Scald, Ice Beam. We went Torrent with it, um, which is great because as it gets knocked down lower, Scald does more damage. You guys saw how that well that did versus Mewtwo Fan Nate. We got Grass Knot as an answer to Seismitoad. Um, but again, Seismitoad has EQ. That's what the Shuckaberry is for. Allows us to hopefully predict the swap in on Seismitoad. Um, consume if it has the berry, consume it. I can eat an EQ from Seismitoad with eat uh, with the Shuckaberry and uh, finish it off with another Grass Knot. So and then some Stealth Rocks to just get some coverage going. Um, this is my best answer to his Zygarde. Um, our little purple sweet potato. Um, or just purple potato. Um, Gligar with EQ, U turn, um, Roost and Defog to clear up rocks. Um, Eviolite. God, once it loses that though, dude, it gets scary. Obviously, I'm worried about like an HP ice on, um, Zygarde to help deal with this thing, but it, it's still bulky enough and Roost still gives me enough help in that regard. Um, we have our Rainbow Roll this time around. Uh, again, bringing the Empoleon Muck Core that was our first two wheel picks. Poison Jab, Knock Off, Pursuit. Tra hopefully we can trap some things. And Ice Punch to deal with Bullaby, uh, as well as a few of his other Pokemon in um, Zygarde. Just a little bit of coverage, a little bit of extra. Gluttony with the Iapa Berry, um, so they can sponge an EQ and then get back up to full to uh, get some extra damage in. Um, Edamame, our little shiny Espeon here. Uh, Baton Pass keeps some momentum going for ourselves, uh, as well, especially if I can get a Calm Mind set up and Baton Pass into, um, Rainbow Roll or give, um, not really. Yeah, I mean, Rainbow Roll wouldn't be terrible. More so Dragon Roll is what we're going for there. And then we have, um, our Wasabi, our Verizion, um, with a Lumberry. Um, cool. So I think we're worried about... Um, I have no idea. Why would we, what are we worried about confusing us on? I don't know. Trust the process. Trust everybody. Um, I'm sure you guys will roast me in the comment section below for forgetting something. But... Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Zen Headbutt, Swords Dance. So, some sort of uh, setup there. Leaf Blade to deal with. Um, Sasha Toad as well. Uh, close Combat, Zen Headbutt. Just uh, a lot of coverage. A lot of beautiful stab. And um, very and some decent speed investment in our Edamame and our Wasabi. Um, because everything else is pretty slow except for Gligar. Uh, and that's just his base speed. So, um, that's going to be my team. Hopefully, things go well versus Joey. If not, uh, we'll bounce back next week when we go up against Pokeaim. But the video will be in the description below once the match gets posted. And um, this will be below the video tomorrow if you guys are tuning in after the battle to see why I got clapped. But thank you all so much for tuning in, checking out, and watching the video today. I appreciate it tremendously. If you enjoyed the team builder, be sure to hit that like button below. More battle content is coming uh, as well as a couple solo and group project LPs. So I know you guys are craving more YouTube content. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get to a point where I'm uploading daily. And then after that, I want to do a month of uploading daily. And I think my goal past that is going to be twice a day or at least 10 videos a week or something. So like every day plus another three videos on top of that uh, with some double uploads like every other day or something would be like ideal um, but that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, peace out, you sexy, gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful gaming legends out there. Take care.